Hey everybody, and uh, welcome back to GeoGuessr Battle Royale. I feel kind of bad about the last few updates, or excuse me, last few uploads, that uh, I haven't been getting a lot of wins. It doesn't seem like there's been a lot of excitement in the last few uh, videos, and maybe that's just, um, maybe that's just me. Is this Andorra? <laughs> I see mountains. Um, and I see this kind of building. Is this Andorra? So let's just throw in an Andorra guess. There we go. Of course, it's Andorra. Um, yeah. So hopefully we will we will get some good uh, some good footage on this episode. I could record a lot of stuff and only upload the uh, you know the really exciting things, but that would make me appear better at the game than I actually am. So. I'm a little hesitant, hesitant to do that, and there was at least one, uh, one comment that was appreciative of me showing failures because it was, you know, it was kind of normal to have failures unless you're one of the super uber high-ranking uh, GeoGuessr people. You're gonna have failures sometimes. So we have the Granja, 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 Patisseria. I don't know how to say a J in this language. These guys are like, hey, it's the Google car. Whoa, look at us. We're on the TV, which is actually the internet. I don't think they knew. I think the car must... <laughs> it seems like uh, the car must have been going the other way or something. Mm, I don't know, but probably not. Okay, this seems kind of English. This seems kind of like in England, but it's uh, it's very dry though. So I don't know if I'm really gonna say this is in England. Maybe we get some information off this truck. Uh, there's some pigs. Okay, um, actually, I don't. Resnia, near Um, is it just a Poland maybe? Okay. Correct? Oh, wow. So soon. Three people are playing, only two can make it. Seems like a South America. I don't know. Um, oh, this is a Mongolia. You can tell because of the camping gear on the roof rack. It's a pretty cool place, Mongolia. Seems like an adventure to go there. Unless you're from there, and then it's just an everyday kind of thing, isn't it? And then you're like, why would anyone want to go to Mongolia? That's how it always... How it always is. No one wants to visit their own area, right? So if you're from, like, a certain country or a certain state, like in the United States, you probably go... You know, vacation somewhere else. Hey, we won! Mongolia, and we're level 8. Alright, um, yeah, nobody wants to explore their own backyard. And, I mean, that's the same true as, you know, it's true for me too, so, can't say anything, but, I'm sure if you're from Mongolia, you, just, you don't understand why people come to visit Mongolia. Alright, so, I am gonna move around. I'm gonna say this is maybe like a Jordan be a Tunisia or a UAE as well. Brought a Jordan, guess just just for fun. There we go. Correct. Probably could have. I definitely could have gotten that one without moving. So I probably should have started this as a no moving panning or zoom round. But I felt like only one warm up. Only one warm up though. You can't really warm up much for a for a no moving panning or zooming, can you? Like, if you don't already know all the information you're going to see, what is playing a game before that even going to do for you? You got a, a few people going? Oh, look, Nestle Pure Life. They have, they have Nestle here. I will reserve any statements about the Nestle Corporation. I mean, we are really leaving town now. 
we are out into the desert at this point. And we were probably already in the desert to begin with back there, but we're definitely in the desert now. What's with these, uh, just big green cisterns out here all by themselves? It's very interesting. Is this like a, is this a Lesotho? No, no? Where's the sun? Well, the sun... Oh, wait, was that, like, Russian? Is that some Cyrillic on that? No. I don't know what it is, though. But the, uh... We're in the Northern Hemisphere because the... Satellite dish is pointing to the south. Um, I'm gonna say this is maybe a Hungary? No, but wouldn't it have been great if it was? Oh, look for rifts in the sky? No rifts in the sky? Okay, um, what if this is a, a Serbia? What if this is a Slovenia? What if this is a Romania? No one said Romania yet. Well, if it was Slovenia and I didn't click it, maybe no one else get it. There's lots of fast guessing. All right. No, someone got it. Dang, someone got it. If it's Slovenia, so help me. Turkey. Okay, Turkey. All right, well, let's do some no moving, panning, or zooming. Instantly right here, we have uh, perhaps some good information. The Fatima College of uh, something I can't see. So I'm going to guess that this is perhaps a Philippines. Correct. Okay, so this word right here that I can't really see seems kind of Spanish. Um, as well as the Fatima College, so this indicates that maybe there's uh, some Catholicism in this country. Uh, I see some tropical kind of trees. And so tropical uh, Spanish Catholicism could be, you know, some places in, in uh, South America, Central America. But I went with uh, the Philippines instead. And I forgot we could also move around after we make our guess. And we, I was going to say we have a flag, but we don't have a flag. Yeah, Cam, Camiguin, Camiguin, I don't know where that is, but it must be in the Philippines. A few other people getting it. It looks like we were uh, doing pretty well for ourselves. And then we had a bunch of people get it at the end, maybe? A walkway to the old volcano. Okay, we got yellow number plates. Uh, this does not look like... Um, this does not look like Belgium or Luxembourg. So I'm going to go with Colombia. Correct. Also, it's not, uh, it's, it doesn't look like, uh, Israel, which is the other place that I know has yellow number plates. I thought it was just, uh, commercial vehicles in Colombia that had the yellow plates, but maybe I'm misremembering that. We also have the, uh, telltale kind of license plates on the roof of the vehicles. Transporte de alimentos. All right, we got Congo, we got me, we got troll something. 
uh, Guess, and then J.D. Walter. I wish it would show their full names. Maybe like, even just a word wrap, maybe? Maybe that would be pretty ugly. J.D. Walter, Troliado, Emil, and Congo. Oh, well, I have to move on this one just to get me... Okay, then we're back to here. All right, so this is the original spot. Um, I'm going to say this might be a, like a UK. Correct. All right, so I saw these little gardens, the, these like walled off gardens areas. So um, we're like deep in a council estate here. All right, this one's a little more difficult. So we got no shadows that can really tell me the sun's position. So maybe over here. I'm... This could be a Brazil, but this could also be like Cambodia, Thailand. I'm going to throw out a Brazil just for fun, and it's not. Okay, um... I want to be over here maybe with a... Maybe with a Thailand. Okay, they've... I don't know what they... Not Cambodia. I don't know what that is right there. I'm going to suggest Israel, which is... Not correct as far as... I mean, it doesn't look like Israel unless I haven't... Just haven't seen the right parts of Israel. I don't know what flag that is. Can't tell that... Well, let's just throw out some guesses. Let's go Thailand. There we go. Correct. All right. So. Hopefully no one can also come in with a Thailand guess. We might have something exciting this episode. Well, assuming everything is recording properly. You won! Woo! The answer was indeed Thailand, and you won the game. You got 100 experience points. All right. Well, um, let's go one more time. Let's try again. And then I have a kind of thing I want to do to wrap up. All right, another no moving, panning, or zooming. Well, we're in Northern Hemisphere because the satellite dishes are pointing to the south. I don't know who, which language this is. I don't know which language this is. People are getting it, though. Well, let's look at the license plates. I can't really see that one though. Oh, I can. Um, it's not blue on both sides. But I don't think this is in Italy. I'm gonna I'm gonna go around here. So maybe this is uh. Well, let's see who has the U with the umlauts. I mean. I know, uh, I know Germany does, but I don't think this is Germany. I mean, we can toss out, a, we can toss it out. It's not. Um, let's go, uh, Hungary. And then, uh, I don't know, let's throw out a Croatia, maybe. It seems like a like a long shot, to be honest with you. No. Looks like I wasn't wrong. There's not blue on both sides, right? There's not blue on both sides. Turkey! Okay, well, here I would have went, uh... Can't really read this. I don't know. So, uh... <laughs> would I have been able to tell even if I had eagle eyes? Um, not really. Let's um let's play something else here. Hold on. Let's do a quick little uh in in honor of President's Day, US holiday President's Day. Since this video will be going up on President's Day, let's do a quick United States only round. And I'm gonna give myself a very short time limit because I I don't want this to go on forever. I'm gonna do one minute time limit. Um you know what? I'm going to do 1 minute and 30 seconds. 
And I am going to move and zoom. I'm going to, you know, moving everything is allowed. So let's go ahead and give this a quick start. Okay. So. The Amway Center. I don't know. I don't know enough about sports to know where that's at. We got, uh, oh, Florida. Okay. So 408 East West Expressway. Maybe this is in my in Miami. And find the 408. I'm not seeing the 408 East West Expressway. But it's got to be somewhere with a, uh, you know, with a big. We have 47 seconds left. Um, it's got to be somewhere with. You know, a uh, sports arena. Okay, now I'm way down here, and that's bad. I mean, I've maybe Orlando on the 408 Expressway. Yes. Um, I don't remember exact. I'm just gonna have to. Seems like we we're in Central Orlando, so kind of like here. Okay. So we were, oh, that was to the 408 Expressway. We were on the 84A. Um, excuse me, we were on the 4. And that makes sense, I think. Because we saw an exit that was exit number... Well, we can't see. But anyways, we were 540 yards away. Next round, please. Okay, seems very southern again. We have... Ascauga Lake. We could be in Florida once more. Adopt a highway. So who's adopting the highways? Patricia Brown, Ridge Road Community. Um, so this actually doesn't help me. No front license plates. This is definitely the south though I think we got some hills so we're not in Florida um, we have 48 seconds left maybe this is upstate South Carolina like east western North Carolina wish I had some information 32 seconds left Let's look at the sand. Sandy soil. Okay, so that gives me more credence that we are in F Sleepy Hollow. I think we are kind of in South Carolina area. Um, so let's get down here and maybe go like up here-ish somewhere. Lock in my guess. Oh, wow. Okay, 39 miles away we were in Augusta. Um... Well, outside of Augusta, Georgia, into the South Carolina, so... In, um... Ascaga Heights. Ascaga Heights. Alright, next round. Okay, Flatland. Not seeing much in the way of hills. Wainwright Drive and West Point Drive. Okay. Now, where is the uh, West Point military thing? Doesn't mean that that's where we are, though. Probably not where we're at. And I don't even know where it is anyways. Bainbridge Road and Glendale Drive. So again, we are flat. Can I tell anything by the license plates? Can't see them. Now I've got 30 seconds left and I don't have a lot of good info. Nineteen seconds. Might just have to make a Hail Mary. Okay, here may be some information. Ah, uh, but we went too far. Ten seconds. 
Mitchell Browning. No, that doesn't tell me anything. I'm going to say we are in um, Alabama. Well, we were actually in Cleveland, uh, Ohio. North Ridgefield, West Point, Ohio. So we were completely wrong. We were kind of okay with uh, kind of the north, south, east, west, you know. Not a lot of distance east and west, but a lot of distance north and south. So 1,300 points is not great. We have a bit of a industrial area here on round four. I feel like we went the wrong direction. Maybe not. We have GLS Park Charlotte Boulevard, Wyoming Avenue. I know where you know, we're, I know where Charlotte, North Carolina is, but I think Park Charlotte is in Charlotte. Art Park. Westinghouse and Park Charlotte Boulevard. I mean, that company name is not going to tell me a lot. Okay, what's going on here, guys? 32 seconds left. Okay, we have snow. Westinghouse and Shopton Road West. Westinghouse. Is this like a... Where is Westinghouse from? They're like in Ohio, New York, right? Um, River Cabin and Shopton Road. I'm just going to get in there. I only have nine seconds left. So I'm going to just make a wild guess. And I'm going to say we are in... Um, I didn't make a guess! We were, we were in Charlotte. Okay, so I did not make a guess, but I would have been quite off. Gotta make, gotta go faster. Gotta go faster. All right, we're in a new community. Darlington. So there's Darlington, Florida. There's Darlington, South Carolina. There's Black Sumac. Some are those mountains or those rooftops? Those are rooftops. Bit of a school here, maybe? Or is just a play area for the chillins? The chillins? 43 seconds, so we gotta go. Um, gotta make guesses. Rock Elm, again, Darlington. A big truck. Big truck, 29 seconds. Um, we got a Texan flag. I don't know. Let's go Texas. Let's go, uh, like, somewhere outside of Houston. Let's go the Woodlands. Okay, so... We were spot on about the Texasness, but we were in uh, Fort Worth. Let's view the summary. You done? You've received a medal. Thank you very much. Now that one was bad. Um, we would have been quite off because we didn't go with our gut, our initial gut, and say, "Oh, is is Charlotte, is Park Charlotte, or whatever in Charlotte?" Um, there's Westinghouse Boulevard, so we went up there, going south. I don't think we would have seen anything that would have immediately told us Charlotte, but really kind of great guess there in South Carolina. Um, amazing deduction there in Orlando. Uh, the Texas one was all right. Um, not so great about the Alabama, Ohio guess, but that's it for the special round for President's Day looking at just the United States. Um, so we got we got uh, some good guesses there and some good guesses in our in our battle royale as well. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again next time.